tell you about on this Friday night. You're at a coffee shop, airport, or hotel lobby, and you want to connect to the Wi-Fi, the free Wi-Fi. But be wary of which hotspot you are choosing. You have to look closely. Yeah, it may be a scammer in disguise waiting to steal your information. The Defender's Mark Boyle shows you how to protect yourself. Now this is an important one because it can really impact every one of us. The mall, the airport, even entire cities now offering free internet. One of the things that we've learned is that scammers take advantage of uh, places that already offer free Wi-Fi. It may sound so second nature to just plug into a free hotspot that you don't even think about it, but that's a mistake the BBB is warning all of us about. So what they do is they uh, mimic the Wi-Fi that's being offered, so they create a second alternative for you to choose from. The big warning sign, the word free. If you see something like free Wi-Fi or free public Wi-Fi, be wary. Almost one out of 10 suspicious networks calls itself free. Something else to consider, sometimes scammers will use a hotspot name very similar to a business. Verify with the establishment what their Wi-Fi name is. So, you know, if you're at ABC Plumbing Company, making sure that they've told you, oh, this is the name of our Wi-Fi. And also, just use your common sense. If you log on to a free hotspot, they won't need your credit card or other personal information. And if you rely on Wi-Fi a lot, you may want to consider investing in a VPN. A virtual private network, essentially it encrypts any data um, and make sure that that scammer, if they are present, they can't get access to your information. These days, many wireless carriers offer them. I'm Mark Boyle reporting for NBC Charlotte.